Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Tokyo Tony situation, a.k.a. Teriyaki Tina. Once again, Teriyaki Tina, a.k.a. Tokyo Tony, is damn wilding out on social media. So what's going down right now is that basically this past weekend, this was on Sunday, she took to Instagram and she basically went clean the fuck off on Black China, cussed her out, claimed that she had to do all this stuff, had to be on the whole stroll and suck dick and do all types of just ratchet shit so that way Black China could be where the hell she is today. I mean, the way she was talking about her daughter was just really damn dickless and disgusting. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these three videos. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my comments. Good morning, everybody. I appreciate your uh, warm, I don't know, but trust me, I'll be fine. Fame goes to people's heads. God damn it, I just happened to be one of the bitches that had to catch the fade. Well, I got an explanation. For one, she told me she was broke and uh, she had to take care of her kids. I asked her for $30, told her I was hungry. Don't worry. Just like I birthed her on her birthday. I'm going to be divorcing her on her birthday. That means 30 years ago, I would have been dead for 30 years having her. Guess what? I'm alive. And fucking well. Two years in a row. I'm going on my second year. I'm not seeing my grands. Yes, they are her children. And I'm not the only person that deals with this shit. Hollywood is so demon-filled, it changes people. We was just chilling. I was just on a reality show. She raged war against me, her mother, the only bitch breathing that will fucking die for her funky ass. I took 424 million people, those are the Kardashians fans, on, but bitch, I'm still here. For you, I'll send it to you. The blogs come for my ass because of you. They don't know me. They know you. You need to call me and apologize on your fucking knees. I greatly apologize for anybody that found my last post uh, offensive. But I've cried my last tear. Now I'm angry. My kid It's gone. And I'm going to accept that. My prayers. I've prayed. I've prayed. I've prayed. But a person still has their own will. They have to go in accordance with you. Your prayers. I don't know what her problem is. But you bitches in California. Get the fuck away from her. Oh I can't take you away from her. Because she's a grown ass bitch. But I tell you this. If any fucking thing happened to her, I'm going to fucking jail for life. Get him away from you, China. That nigga. All right, y'all just watch them ratchet, trifling ass videos, okay? Of Tokyo Tony going off on Black China as if Black China owes her something. So now after those videos went viral, Black China ended up commenting on her post the next day and basically Black China said this to her mother. She says, lies, lies, all lies, next. So once Tokyo Tony saw that, she went smooth the fuck off on Black China. I mean, she read her own daughter for the filth. It was so sad. I'm going to go ahead. I don't feel like reading all this shit, but I'm going to go ahead and read to y'all what she said to Black China. So go ahead and listen to this. So Tony says, at Black China, you fucked up now. They see we are apart, you big dumb bitch. I've never disrespected you and I have no respect for you. I mean, literally none. I am disgusted with you as a mother. Don't worry, baby. 30 years ago, in a few days, I almost died having you. So your birthday would be my death date and you prove that true. 
Don't come back to me when you leave because I no longer trust you. You know your mother. I walk alone. But yet you put all these people in front of me. Your friends you hang with are pieces of shit. They will send you to hell, rob you, fuck your man and your woman. I never say anything because I'm a strong bitch and I hold my own very well as you can see. How dare you call me a liar when it's obvious I haven't seen these fucking kids. Do you want me to go in my DMs, bitch? All this hate I get is because of your ass being your mother. I don't give a fuck because I don't give a fuck. How can you do all of this out of nowhere? You could have given me a call as opposed to going online. What's really going on? Who is really in your head? Who was really on the phone or standing there coaching you from what it sounded to me? You still have not called me and apologized to me. I did nothing to you but love you, raise you, protect you, and be your fucking footstool, bitch. You have these yes bitches all around you all motherfucking day. They don't give a fuck about you. It's obvious, dummy. I'm moving to California, bitch, and I wish I would fuck with you. I had you, bitch. You did not have me. You mad that I look good? You mad that I have people around me that are positive and not demons? You have never helped me with my food drive, not one penny, but I said you did to save your face. You are despicable as a child, and I'm very embarrassed and ashamed of you to be my fucking daughter that I raised. To not give me credit, do you know how many dicks I had to suck so you could eat? Do you know how many whole strolls I had to go down, bitch, to make sure you was good for school? And you fuck me like this? No, fuck you, bitch. I'm coming. I love. Catch my book. It speaks the truth. My phone number is still the fucking same. Then she says, this will be my last post on any of this talk. I don't give a fuck that much. Trust me. I'm Tokyo. Oh, I'm going to continue to talk about this viciously, but not on this page. It's open. I'm about to get down or old bitches on another page. At least these bitches looked out for me and brought oil and books. I'm not hurt anymore. I'm over in this shit. Be careful with me. I'm your mother. Remember that? Call me a liar knowing I'm far from a liar. At Black China, you lost your way, babe. You didn't want to hear what I had to say. That's what caused this riff. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. Your excuse will be played on your birthday. You talking about viral? Girl, please. Little did you know my cameras were doing while you were talking. They were already running. They just so happened to catch the juicy part of your conversation, girlfriend. Your rage war against your mother. You call your mother a liar. The same bitch that took 42 million people on because you wanted to fuck a Kardashian. I got nothing out of this. 30 years fucking with you other than Dreaming King. You mean to tell me that you commented on the shade room? Like the rest of these nothing ass bitches do me that hate on me? Quick question. Are you jealous of me? Why you never post anything I'm doing for my food drive? Why do you post your friends that you no longer around and don't post your mother who is positive and that you know very well? Why would you allow your best friend to disrespect me knowing I would drag that pussy giving bitch for $30 through a parking lot? Well, guess what, boo-boo? I'm going to spill that tea, all of it, from day one. Get ready, bitch. Why would you allow your best friend to disrespect family? She wonder why the Kardashians are winning. They know how to keep their family together. Look at Cardi. She's keeping family together. Look at Amber. Her mother lives with her. I have lost all respect for you at Black China. Until you apologize to me, and that better be more than just words, I am divorcing your ass on your birthday. I have a little video I want to play on your birthday to show just how disrespectful you are to me. I hope I don't ruin you. Sometimes you have to get put on your ass to be put back on track. I don't know what the fuck your problem is, girl, but I'm sick of your ass. I've done nothing but love you, take care of you, and protect you. I did not ask for this bullshit. I did not want you to become famous. Why don't you ever think of anybody in your family, not just me? You said you were raised by your grandmother. She had two sons that lived with her. You left home before they did. That's the case why you don't talk to them. They're called my brothers, the ones that helped me raise your ass as well as my mother. Then she says, I'm over it and you at Black China. Trust me, I will be going to see the official Bonnet Chronicles on Mother's Day for the second year in a row. I haven't spoken to the person I put on earth and was hemorrhaging near death. I was a college bound student. My mom wanted me to get an abortion. So I ran away from home for three months so that it would be too late to do so. Now look. My mom was right about a lot of stuff. To hate your mother is weird for no reason. I have always taken care of my child. I have always been married. Even after I got divorced, less than a year later, I was married again. This kid always had a foundation, always dressed good. 
She had what her friends didn't have, a good mother, a loving mother. She never wanted for anything. I'm not hurt anymore because it's been so long. I just need this girl to get some mental help. Anytime you dog your mother online by calling her a liar, you're mentally fucking ill. It's obvious I have not seen them for there is no pictures and I'm videoing, bitch. Called her own mother a liar online. Disrespectful, disloyal to the family and she wonder why the Kardashians are winning. Then she says, I don't know why, it's no beef, why? I have no other way to see them other than if she lets her babies FaceTime me. They don't. I asked Jenny, she'll never do it. Look at my doobie, y'all. My grandson needs me. He needs his grandma from D.C. Southeast. He needs to learn from his family and not a nanny. I need to be their nanny, not a stranger. Although great nanny, it's not grandma. Grandmas have love that is sick for their second set of kids. I miss him like I would miss my arm or my leg. I pray to see them soon. I'm a saver for my ticket. Wow, so big like a grown man. I try not to look online, but I can't see them no other way. My kid, but anyways, look at Doobie, King Cairo. That is his nickname from me, his grandma. Dream is buttons. I miss you guys so much. I don't see him. It's not okay. He needs me. I know King. I don't know Dream. I don't know why. Guess what? It's cool, but it's not cool. He's not my son. I cherish those moments I had talking, laughing, playing, etc. One day I will have enough to visit them. He is like a grown man for what I see on social media. Can y'all send me videos that appear online of my baby Cairo? Add Tiger, can you send me videos? Thanks, I DM'd you my number, XOXO Tokyo Tony, not my fault. Now y'all just heard me read that long ass dissertation brought to you by Teriyaki Tino, okay? AKA Tokyo Tony. Now, first and foremost, you know, I'm no fan of Black China. Y'all know that. Like, I, she's totally turned me off by her antics and just all the dumb shit that she does on social media. But in this situation, I'm hurt for her. What her mother did was totally uncalled for, disrespectful. And, you know, it just shows you how even with family, you can't even trust family once you become famous, once you become known. Everybody wants something from you. Let's keep it 100. Her rant was not about those grandkids. You know, yeah, she may be lonely. She may miss her grandkids. But the real tea is that she wants to live with China. She wants China to take care of her because she bought up the fact that Amber Rose's mom lives with her and other people are really close with their moms and they have their moms as their nannies and stuff like that. What it is is Tokyo Tony don't want to work. She don't want for nothing. She wants to live in California, in Calabasas, in Black China's house, you know what I'm saying, living it up, you know, being a social media mom, creating her following, driving Black China's cars. She basically now wants to, you know, ride China's coattail. She wants China to take care of her. You know, one thing I never understood is parents who try and throw shit back in your face as if that's not what they're supposed to do. You're trying to shame her because you have to suck a bunch of dick and you have to walk the whole straw. I'm confused. How is that black China's fault? You chose to have her. You chose to be a parent, okay? I cannot stand when parents try to shame the child. Well, I did this for you and I did that for you. Motherfucker, that's what you're supposed to do, okay? You're my mom. You're my dad. I shouldn't have to be punished and shamed and guilt tripped once I made it and I'm doing good because of what you did for me in my past. Like that, I mean, just that whole rant was just so disgusting. And the fact that she acts like her daughter owes her something is silly. You should have your own. And if your daughter decides to look out and throw you a bone and, and do stuff for you, then that's cool. No, the problem is she's upset because Black China is no longer with Rob. And when she fucked up that gravy train, Rob stopped paying for everything. He took back those leased vehicles. He stopped paying for Teriyaki Tony's apartment in D.C. So that's when she was evicted and put out. So she's going through a lot of hardships financially, and I'm sure it's stressing her out, and Black China's done taking care of her because she's looking at her mom as just baggage. She doesn't want to take care of her. She doesn't want to associate with her because her mom pops off too much. She puts their business out there too much. I'm not saying that maybe Black China hasn't done anything to her mom or cussed her out or been disrespectful. I don't know. But the point is, you're mad at her for calling you a liar on the shade room, but you literally wrote a damn dissertation on your own daughter, calling her all types of bitches and, you know, saying that you're ashamed of her and almost insinuating that you wish you hadn't had her, that you wish you would have listened to your mother and had an abortion. Like, are you serious? You know how bad it hurt me to read that shit? And those aren't even my mom saying those words to me? 
Like my heart breaks for Black China because now I understand why she's so fucking dysfunctional and she's out here fucking anybody who'll show her any type of attention for money. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> The mama's out here on the fucking whole straw and sucking dick and everything else, and that's what her daughter's doing. Rob already blasted Black China. Says she was out here having threesomes with T.I. and Tiny and basically sleeping with everybody. There were text messages that leaked the other day that Black China's sleeping with several guys, you know what I'm saying, that are in the same clique as her little boyfriend, Almighty J. She's sleeping with a few of his homeboys. So Black China's basically doing the same thing that her mother did, except for she's doing it on a celebrity level. Basically, Teriyaki Tina's ass, she's mad that she can't eat off her daughter's pussy no more, okay? All that fucking and sucking that Black China's doing, she's mad she's not getting a cut of it. It's not about those grandchildren. Trust me, if she really wants to see those grandbabies, she could find a way. And if her daughter's bullshitting, King is also with Tyga. <laughs> At any point in time, she could have set something up with Tyga. She could have set something up with Rob to go see those grandbabies if her daughter's not acting right. But the problem is she's not trying to do all that. What it is is Teriyaki Tina wants some damn money. And I know she's going to see this video. And I know you're going to cuss me out. I'm going to be that stupid black bitch on YouTube the same way you went off on me a few months ago. And that's okay. You can have your opinions of me because I'm damn sure going to tell my opinions of you. You're a shitty mother and what you did was a shitty thing. I'm no fan of your daughter and her antics, but those words cut like a knife and you can't take that shit back. Even when you delete it, you know what I'm saying? And you act like, you know, well, it's no big deal. You know, it's water under the bridge. No, it's not. Cause not only did you not say those things to her, those are things that should not be said to somebody behind closed doors, but you did it on a public forum. You're mad because she called you a liar. She stood up for herself. And in return, you literally wrote a whole book just blasting her and disrespecting her, disrespecting her entire being. That was so uncalled for, so disgusting. And it just shows the type of person you are. And I'm not holding back. Ain't nobody scared of teriyaki, Tony, okay? The same way you can run your mouth and have opinions about everything under the sun, so can us YouTubers. This entire situation is just re-damn-diculous. And this is the problem with a lot of people in the black community, you know what I'm saying? This is nothing but dysfunction at its finest. That's what we're watching, a bunch of fucking dysfunction. Like I said before, the problem is she feels entitled to black China's money. She feels like black China needs to cut her check and look out for her. Newsflash, you're the parent, okay? The parent is supposed to take care of the child for doing what you're supposed to do as a parent, okay? I don't care if it's walking the whole stroll, sucking multiple fucking dicks, or getting up at 6 a.m. to beat rush hour to get to work, to clock in and work your nine to five. You do what you have to do when you decide to bring children into the world. You don't get an award for that. You don't get a pat on the back. You're lucky if you get a thank you. Parenting is a thankless job. A lot of times, kids don't even appreciate their parents until they get older and they look back once they have children. So for her to act like Black China just owes her so much, did we not see Black China buy her a brand new car a few years ago after she went on a rant and disrespected her daughter? Her daughter still turned around and got her a brand new car? She's so ungrateful, and that's what I was saying in that Kevin Hart video. Sometimes no matter how much you do for people, I don't care if it's family, I don't care if it's friends, it's never enough. It's never enough. Because they just see you getting money, but they don't see the behind the scenes. All the hard work you putting into it, the way you grind in, the sleepless nights, they don't see that shit. They just see the red carpet events. They just see you making moves. They just see you buying shit, but not realizing how hard you work for your shit. And that's the part that's so sad, you know what I'm saying? And right now, Black China's not in a position really to take care of nobody besides her children. Like I stated in my Tristan Thompson, Khloe Kardashian, Black China video, she is losing money. She's no longer bookable. Her ass is about to be 30. Basically, everybody on social media is over her. Her lash line is not doing that great. She has nothing behind her. The Kardashians are not behind her. So she's not worth as much. She went from making $30,000 per club appearance, and now she's lucky she can get two grand. So being that her club appearance fees have gone down, she's having to fuck an 18-year-old for relevance, how can she afford to take care of her mama? She can't. And that's the real reason why Tokyo Tony is bothered, okay?
So anyways, y'all, I'm done with my rant. I'm so disgusted by this entire situation. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Tokyo Tony, a.k.a. Teriyaki Tina, going on a damn rant about Black China like Black China owes her some shit. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video.